In this final module, let's look at the tools and resources available to you, the programmer, and wrap things up. There are also IAR tools for the MSP430. The Kickstart version is free. It has a uh, 4K limit for C code on MSP430 devices. If you're using the 430X, that's up to uh, 8K uh, code size limit. If you're using assembler code, that's unlimited. Uh, you can download the uh, IAR Kickstart from the MSP430 webpage. It's certainly supported by the TI PIC. Uh, you're able to use simplicity libraries if you're working with the RF or the CC, uh, uh, CC430 in your project. Uh, the IAR tools are, are terrific tools. Uh, I certainly recommend those along with the uh, CCS tools. The baseline version of the IAR runs uh, 995. Uh, there's a 12K limit on the C code size for that, unlimited assembler code size, and that's available and supported by IAR as well as well as TI PIC, the uh, Product Information Center. The full version of the IER tools runs 2695. Uh, unlimited code size available and supported by IAR and the, and the Product Information Center. All the versions support all the available MSP430 devices. To repeat what I said earlier, Code Composer Studio 4.1 is TI's single development platform for all TI processors. There are a number of enhancements over earlier versions. And since you're working with the MSP430, uh, you get unlimited C and assembly code size. The compiler, the, the uh, assembler, the debugger, all the tools for $495 for the microcontroller license. Uh, there's also a free 1K limited edition that you can download and use on the MSP430. There's a wide variety of EZ430 MSP430 tools. The EZ430 tool set has a tradition of low-cost, easy-to-use tools on the MSP430. Options include RF, energy harvesting, RFID, even a wireless sports watch uh, that you see right there called the Kronos. Uh, there are a number of EZ430 kits, this passive low-frequency evaluation kit on the left here. There's a uh, solar energy harvester here the F2013 uh, development tool for a very small, uh, very low cost MSP430. Uh, you can buy some of the target boards separately here. Uh, this thing is about the size of your thumbnail. There's also a wireless development tool with the EZ430 RF2500 and the 2500T. You can purchase this and then purchase the target boards uh, along with uh, batteries to go along with it to set up your own wireless network. And there's the EZ430 RF2480, the Zigbee development tool right here, along with the Kronos watch. TI offers two different programming tools. Uh, there are also a wide variety of uh, programming tools and FETs, uh, field evaluation tool from uh, other, other vendors as well. Uh, we have the parallel FET here uh, that, that connects to a uh, par uh, parallel port, printer port on your PC. If you have one of those, that supports all the MSP430 devices and only supports the four-wire JTAG. For most people, the USB FET, uh, either from TI or from another vendor, is the, uh, is the one to go with. It supports all MSP430 devices. It supports both the four-wire and the two-wire JTAG interfaces. Uh, it has selectable output voltages from 1.6 to 3.6 volts, depending on the voltage of your target system. It can blow the JTAG fuse, and it has very fast operation. TI offer also offers the GANG programmer, which is the GANG 430. Uh, that supports all flash-based uh, MSP430 devices, supports four and two-wire uh, JTAG interface, adjustable output voltage, uh, this can operate tethered to a PC, or it can be standalone, so if you want to program the devices separately uh, from a PC. It can program up to eight devices separately. Uh, pretty fast operations. Uh, eight, eight of those can be programmed at six kilobytes per second. Uh, the JTAG fuse can be blown. There's a GUI inter a separate GUI interface for your PC if you want. If you want to write your own code for that, there's a Windows DLL interface. Of course, there are also a variety of gang programmers offered by uh, third-party vendors as well. Some of the pin geometries on these parts can be pretty difficult to get to if you don't have the uh, manufacturing capability. 
We offer target boards for device programming so that you can access that stuff. Uh, a 100 pin target board exclusive to the uh, F543X and A, the F541X and A devices. There's a development board with a 100 pin TSSOP, the TSOP ZIF socket. Uh, all the pins are brought out to pin headers for easy access. You can program these things by a JTAG. Uh, there's a JTAG port over there. Uh, spy by wire, or uh, you could do it through a bootstrap loader. Um, a FET board exists. Uh, a field evaluation board exists for most variants of the MSP430 so that you can easily get up and run and uh, target these boards um, uh, despite the uh, small geometry of the pins. Uh, most of those run about 49 bucks. An earlier experiment board uh, previous to the 5XX was the FG4618 experimenter board. It also had connectors for the 1100, 1101, 2500, 2420 uh, EMs for the uh, Chipcon RF type stuff here. Uh, that supported, uh, also included support for the 2480 Zigbee processor here. You can see the antenna connection on the top of it. Uh, this was a pretty good board. There was a uh, 2XXX processor, a 2013 F2013 processor, along with the uh, F4618 or 19 right here. You can see it had two JTAG ports on the uh, on the on the board. Uh, it had a speaker, it had a microphone, it also had a capacitive touchpad right here in the middle, along with a nice uh, experimenters area down here to add your own uh, your own hardware and uh, an LCD at the top. This is a nice board. It was run in the previous version of this class, and if you take a look, uh, do some searching on the wiki for the uh, MSCP 430 One Day Workshop, uh, you'll likely come across the material that this board was run on, and uh, that will also give you the software and and uh, uh, PDF files that you can use uh, to go through the labs on that board if this board is the one that interests you. Some of the software tools available to you uh, to, to work on this board. Uh, the wireless networking protocols like the Z-Stack, uh, TI-Mac, uh, Simplicity, Dash 7, Wireless M-Bus, 6 Low Pan. There's also example code available for the F5438 um, uh, experimenter board. Uh, you can see the link right there. There's drivers for the hardware peripherals, the LCD, the USB connection. Uh, there are also operating systems out there. If you're tired of writing it from the beginning and reinventing the wheel every time, I definitely recommend taking a look at some, some of the different operating systems that can run on the MSP430. This, uh, micro, this uh, UCOC, the uh, IAR Power Pack is out there, Salvo, FreeRTOS is out there. Um, it's great to use the uh, operating systems to uh, save yourself a ton of time. Support for the MSP430, you can always go to www.ti.com slash MSP430 for your user guides, data sheets, code libraries, hundreds of application reports, thousands of code examples, all your product brochures, your latest tool software, a full listing of the third parties that support the device along with Silicon Arata. And don't forget the wiki and the E2E, the engineer to engineer sites. Uh, those are great sites for support for MSP430. One last look at the 5XX generation. The device is, the family is ultra low power, 230 microamps per megahertz with a 1.9 microamp standby mode. Wake up from that standby in under 5 microseconds. Increased performance on the family, up to 25 megahertz, and able to operate at the 8 megahertz sweet spot across the entire operating range from 1.8 to 3.6 volts. Even where you're down at the bottom of that voltage range, 1.8 volts, you can still in-system program and erase the flash. The unified clocking system means that you have a fail-safe, flexible clocking system for the device. Some new innovative features like the integrated low dropout regulator, the brownout reset circuitry is integrated onto the device, the watchdog timer has been upgraded, and a real-time clock on there. The DMA supports data movement in standby mode and has multiple channels. There's more connectivity. USB has been integrated along with RF on some of the devices. AES encryption is on the device along with the real-time clock availability on the backup battery. 
The bootstrap loader can be completely user-defined, so you're not limited to a predefined uh, bootstrap loader code from TI. And the code density on this thing is an industry leader. Thanks for watching this presentation. Don't forget to check out the wiki page.